Hey, this is Scott Jarvey, Life of Photographer, or Photographer's Life, and I am here about to go on a road trip, and so I am uh, going to be talking to you about the different things that I'm bringing on this road trip. Last time I did a road trip, I did a uh, setup, I, I did a video of the setup of my car for that road trip. It was a car camping style, it will be this way again, and I had... Uh, well, I, each time I go on these trips, I improve it. So I think I've got a better setup this time, and I'm bringing the whole kitchen sink. I'm bringing everything because it's just me in the car. I've got some room, and I'm doing lots of different things. So uh, enjoy. I, let's see some of the stuff that I'm bringing. First off, let's talk batteries. <laughs> yes, lots and lots of batteries. So I've got a quadcopter. You've probably seen that on the channel. And I've got six batteries for that. I will be uploading videos for you guys to be able to watch a daily vlog. In fact, make sure to keep track of this channel and subscribe because I will have a daily vlog of all of my adventures in southern Utah and at WPPI, which is a wedding and portrait photographers convention. And if you want to go ahead and look and you're watching this in the future, you want to look and you can see all those uh, daily adventures, just me trying out and doing different things and going to different locations. So anyways, back to this. Um, so I will be uploading some stuff as we go with the Wi-Fi. I've got some smaller batteries for a smaller helicopter. I've got my trusty AA charger. It's actually charging at the moment. And I've got a lot of batteries here. I also got a, a Cam Ranger, which I've talked a lot about on my trips. And then I've even got a battery to charge other batteries, for instance, my cell phone. I have another video about my battery or my cord management system for the Humless, which is the battery system that I use. It's connected directly into my car battery and it has an inverter and it has a power reserve so that you can charge it even when the car is not running. Anyways, so cord management was a problem before, so I'm going to show this off a little bit later, but let's just talk about what I'm bringing. Uh, a charger for the quadcopter batteries, um, some gaffer tape and duct tape and the power strips and extra parts for my quadcopter stuff. Um, and then I've got kind of my miscellaneous bag, which has walkie-talkies. It has um, a headlamp. It has a whole slew. Five TT5s and a, a couple, a controller and another controller there. I've got air to blow off stuff so no dust gets in my phone. I've got another one of these holders for my cell phone in case this one that I'm using presently breaks. Some extra stuff for my GoPro and just random things like, you know, lens cleaner and stuff like that. Now let's go over to another bag. I'm going to bring a couple of different bags just so um, I'm ready for any situation. This one will be good uh, because during WPPI I'll probably walk around with my laptop and, a, and a, my camera. Speaking of camera stuff, here we go. This is kind of my reserve bag that I'll have in the back of the car. And I probably will just grab things when I need them out of there. And this is a Think Tank bag. I've got a couple LED panels for my light painting later on. I've got a uh, Gorilla Pod and a couple of these. Let's bring this. All right, that should be easier to see. Bring this into the middle. There's not as much light. A couple of flashes, uh, battery packs for the flashes. My mic um, I'll probably have with me a lot, so it's probably not best in the reserve area. It's for the camera. Um, I've got my 8mm for Jarvie Windows stuff. I've got a... A Rokinon, which 35, which I use a lot for video stuff. Another flash over here. I've got a teleconverter. I've got um, a macro lens, which I don't use too much, but it's in this bag. I've got lens cleaner. And all this stuff I probably have done a review, or I'm doing, or they're about to be uploaded. And then I have my D700 backup with a 50 millimeter. And then I've got some smaller parts just in the back here. Couple random things I'm bringing. I'm bringing the fan because if it gets really hot and I'm in the back of the car resting, so I'll put that up top until I need to use it, and I'll in the tule, and then I will uh, have a sandbag if I'm doing night stuff and I don't want my tripod to fall over. I've got a shoulder mount for uh, video stuff, 
I got a couple lens bags. Sometimes I like to just be on the go and just go with one camera and one lens. And so I just have that lens bag and that can just be stuffed away until I need it. And then I've got another lens bag, which is best for 7200. So I may just bring the one lens bag. Okay, now to the, the main stuff. This is my f-stop uh, hiking backpack. They're great, and so I've got the D800 with an 85, a 7200, a uh, 24 millimeter, 1.4, uh, the 14 to 24, and the 24 to 70. And I've got it like a GPS unit in there, and I'll put some memory cards in here. And I did a review on this little awesome thing. This Kinesis bag holds all my filters and Lee filter holders and um, two polarizers are in there and five filters, five or six filters are in there as well. And uh, a couple extra cords in there and there. Of course I'm bringing the quadcopter and then I've got some clothes as well. I guess you have to wear that. Uh, actually, my solution for uh, dress shirts and things that get wrinkled, I really don't have one for the car. Uh, in the last trip, I had a pretty great solution for how I took my coats, because it was definitely cold weather. This time it's not going to be as cold. So I had some hoodies, I had some coats, I had some rain jackets, and I slid them underneath my mattress, which is a memory foam mattress, which I put in the back. And so I can just put my... Um, what do I call it? I can put my coats underneath uh, that. And I also put my soft boxes and reflectors underneath the bed as well. I'll go with some hiking sandals and some dress shoes, and then I've got some boots as well. I've got my computer in here because I am uh, getting some final things onto it, but this I'll be traveling with my laptop. And I've got my GoPro and some memory cards set aside to be able to go as well. My humless system that uh, charges stuff does go off of the car battery, and so in case the car battery dies, I have a power station to charge that car battery, and also to put air into the car if needs be. I've got some liquids, water of course, and I love these Tropicanas because you don't have to refrigerate them, so I'm going with those as well. I've also got some snacks for when I am not too close to actual food or just when I'm driving around, you know, you like to snack while you drive. So some nuts, lots of trail mix, fruit snacks, some peanut butter that I would get some bread for, obviously. Then I was at Costco and I bought a couple more large pillows. I, I know it's weird, but, well, I really like to have a few pillows uh, when I'm traveling because or when I'm sleeping in the back, when I'm car camping. It's just a lot more comfortable if your head is too low and you're sleeping kind of downhill. You just kind of put some pillows there and you start sleeping on the pillows. And and at the one at the end, you're going to have two pillows to actually raise your head. And then, I don't know, they're just utilitarian, that's for sure. All right, well, um, while I am doing another video, which shows basically my car setup, this video is about what I'm taking. There are a couple things that are already in the car. So let's go take a look at those things. Final things here. Okay, this is where the bed will be, but I've got some jackets that I'll be putting underneath it right about here. And uh, reflectors and diffusers will go there. An empty trash bag always comes in handy or two. More reflectors that I'll be putting out of the way and these soft boxes that I'll be putting under the bed as well. Okay, this, this is still isn't quite organized, but I just want to show you I'm bringing shoes, my big flashlight, my uh, iPad, and here is that big awesome humless power charger. So I'll be putting that bag right around this area. And of course, things that are always in the car are the GPS and the radar detector GPS version. And um, yeah. And then I can put some of the stuff up there. That's about all I've got. All right, turns out I totally lied to you. I'm all, I've got the Thule up top, and I've got things in there like this, uh, I've got a tripod, actually two, so that when I wanna do uh, time lapses. In case I'm gonna go to Bryce, um, I brought, 
think I'm going to bring uh, one pair of snowshoes, or maybe two. It just depends. I've got some kind of outdoor stuff, and I put it in this uh, plastic thing here, so harness and, and another uh, jacket and overshoes in case of hiking around in the in the mud. I've got a tent there. I've got. Um, and I'll be putting up the water and stuff in this, this area. So lots of or lots of organizing to do. Oh wait, hey, this camp stool is super awesome. So definitely bring that, and it weighs nothing. I know winter is almost over, but just in case, um, I'm bringing these cables for the car, just as a keep it in the car type thing, an extra old one, you know, just in case for radiator radiator and stuff like that. All right, well, that's it. That's all the stuff that I'm bringing for this road trip. If you want to keep uh, track of this road trip, just subscribe. I'll be doing a lot more videos. And if you want to see how I've got this all into the car, check the other video, which is uh, this car camping setup. This was all the stuff that I'm bringing. I went on a road trip, and I brought... Hope you enjoyed. Scott Jarvie, A Photographer's Life.